Um, but yes, anyway, welcome. Uh, before we jump into tonight's uh, game, we're going to go ahead and go through some quick announcements, beginning with Ooh, quick. our fantastic sponsors for the night. Well, quick for most of us. Um, beginning with our first sponsor, friends of Campaign 2, from the very beginning, D&D Beyond. Sam! D&D Beyond. Guys, we all started off as voice actors. Oh, you know what? I didn't even look at what they sent me to read. <laughs> Uh, the D&D Beyond Encounter Builder Alpha version is now available to all D&D Beyond subscribers. If you don't recall, it's a super handy tool to craft unique and flavorful fights that fit your current setting and difficulty level. <laughs> Check out the exciting updates as they work their way through their, the alpha, including the official monsters who've now been added and improved, oh, and improved accessibility. Check it out at the link in the chat. Okay, that's we all. Actually, I'm gonna say that's actually really cool. Not yes. to gloss over that, Sam. Encounter Builder is actually really cool and a really helpful tool. Uh, I, I've used it; it's been helpful. Check it out; it's awesome. Yes. <laughs> I'm seeing the table for the first time. Is that a motherfucking fishbowl? Yeah, yeah. There's lots of stuff, Liam. Anyway, <laughs> what Matt said that is important and vital. Anyway, the bit. Um, so we all, we all got our start as voiceover actors, and for this week's D and D Beyond ad, I wanted to bring us back to our roots with an old-fashioned radio play. Now, voiceover really became an art form in the '30s and '40s with radio dramas like The Shadow, Mercury Theater, The Green Hornet, and my favorite part of these uh, classic radio dramas was the sound effects. So tonight, the Critical Role. No, that's mine. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the, criti the Critical Role radio players are going to take you back to the golden age of radio with me, Sam Regal, providing sound effects. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, ready? <laughs> we now return to our regularly scheduled broadcast The Adventures of Detective Clint P. McGinty, Private Dick. Come on in. Chief, I came as soon as I heard the dispatch. Somebody got iced? Where's the Vic? Hold on, McGinty. Let me light another cigarette. <laughs> I'm afraid it's murder, McGinty. That's why you're here. You're the best dick I know. Well, if you want to solve this case, you're going to need all the dicking I can give. <laughs> we all will. Walk with me, McGinty. The body's over here. Just past this carpet. <laughs> Should I follow you over this gravel area? Of course. <laughs> Let's stop here on this mound of silverware. <laughs> Go ahead, kick that vacuum cleaner aside. <laughs> and get rid of that pussy. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> One dead body. Good gravy, that's a lot of blood. I better investigate it by touching it and squishing it around. <laughs> In this toilet bowl. Curious. Yes, interesting. Mmm, yes, of course. Well, I. <laughs> I think I know who committed this crime. What? How? There's blood spatter here on this bell. Oh, oh shit! There it is. <laughs> and here on this clock. <laughs> and here on this lightsaber. <laughs> My goodness, you're right. There's a reason they call me the best goddamn dick in LA. <laughs> so. Who did it? We're halfway done, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the only person I know who can kill this quickly and efficiently is none other than D and D Beyond. D and D Beyond. D and D Beyond. In any violent encounter, D and D Beyond makes you much more efficient, so you can slay your enemies without having to look up rules. And <laughs> sorry, I had curry before. Continue. <laughs> anyway, D and D Beyond is the perfect resource for anyone who wants to defeat a creature in record time. And <laughs> I also ate corn, cauliflower, and Diet Coke with Mentos. It, it's fine, Chief. I'll just moonwalk over here. <laughs> As I was saying, the killer must have subscribed to dndbeyond.com and gotten access to all their great content. 
I forgot to tell you, I also ate Red Hots, a hoppy IPA, <laughs> deviled eggs, raw artichokes, and funyuns and bean dip. Uh, sorry, Chief, I can't take the smell anymore. I'm going to jump out this window. And thus concludes another adventure of Detective Clint P. McDinginty, Private Dick. Hey, I did it! Oh my god. What the fuck is the matter with you? I did it! You, yeah, do we, you do did. We, do we clap? Whatever Sam did, yeah, he did it! Yeah. It's over. Nice. Really good. Wow. Uh, that was my dream come true. I'm, I'm so happy that, that we and our sponsors can facilitate your yeah. private dream, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Thanks, guys. Wow. Oh, that was real fun. No, thank you, Sam. And thank you, D&D Beyond, for your infinite patience. Oh, man.